Hey guys, welcome back to the Gamer's Vault, and I'm your host, James. Today, um, we're going to do an update. And we're going to talk about the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis, I was able to solder on the composite cables, and it worked perfect. It came on beautifully. But, the first um, adapter to bring it up to the 720 HDMI, it died on arrival. And I got it from eBay, so it taught me a lesson to watch out for eBay. So I pushed that to the side. I bought a smaller box to upconvert it again to the HDMI 720 and I got that from Amazon. It did work the first time around and then when I was ready to put it in together, it stopped working completely. So it died on me. It happens. Maybe I did something wrong or maybe something happened. It could happen. So I have to send it back, which is fine. I'm going to send it back and we're going to get it done. But I, I need to get you guys an episode out. So today on the Gamer's Vault. We're going to work on the original Xbox. So, what are we doing? Okay. The original Xbox um, was able to be modded, and that's what XB XMBC came from, or a.k.a. Cody, which is what you use on your RetroPie. And it's not going to have XMBC. I don't care about that on the Xbox. But we're going to mod it to play emulators and Xbox One, back up your Xbox One library. Because the lasers on these things are starting to get kind of rare, and they're very pricey. Um, this is an original Xbox I gave to my dad a long time ago. He got the Xbox One, and he was like, just take this back. I don't want to just get rid of it because you collect. So I got it back. And this is the only Xbox I have, so I'm going to mod it out. I'm going to put a 300 gig back store hard drive. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it straight out. So we're going to do it from beginning to end. And it's going to be really wonderful. Uh, this was actually a request by one of you guys, the viewers. Uh, actually, a, a great expert in RetroPie. His name is Easy Hacks. I'm going to put his link down below for his channel. He's really good at that stuff. And he had an original Xbox. And he had asked me questions about it. And I was like, you know what? Instead of me just answering the questions, let me just do an episode. Because I'm sure a lot of people have those questions too. One of it was a component cable. They did make component cables for the original Xbox. So I ordered that one, and it's coming probably by next week. So hopefully it'll get here soon. But while that's happening, I'm going to break these, this episode into two parts. Because this is, this is going to be a long one with the original Xbox. This, this is the reason why I waited for this one. It's going to be broken up into two parts. The first Today's first episode video, we're going to talk about what you need for the Xbox and what software is needed and I'm gonna get you guys to that software again I'm gonna link it down below for that software and you're gonna be able to get that there and we're gonna break that down once we get the Xbox modded the next part is how to get games over to it I'm sure there's people other videos that you can watch but I'm gonna do a completion video and we're gonna do that and with the Xbox getting the games modded over or sent over excuse me I'm going to show you guys how to use the Xbox with the component cable instead of the composite cable. Certain games take advantage of the component cable, not all. So don't be surprised if certain if certain one of your games don't really work well with it. It really wasn't meant to do component, to be honest, but they did make it and it is capable. So it is also a DVD player too. Well, think about it that way. Anyway, welcome to the vault. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get to the Xbox, um, I wanted to tell you some stuff that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to do is turn your Xbox on, check the dashboard. I think it's supposed to be under settings and system info. And you're going to let that scroll. It's not You can't control it. Just let it scroll. And then if you give it a few moments, it's going to say D, and it's going to say 0596. If it says that, you're good to go. Continue. Let's continue on with the video. If it doesn't, I want you to stop. Get a copy of Halo 2. Start it up. Say you want to do a software update. And how you do that is by going to the settings in the software and say play online. And it'll automatically say, wait, you don't have the software you need. Cool. Update me. On the disk itself, it will automatically update you. That's too easy. Once it's done, shut it down. Let's continue with the video. What are you going to need? Let's start with the basics. The basic one is a flash drive you can get a four gig flash drive not all of them are compatible um this one is a sandisk cruiser edge 16 gigabytes got it again on amazon 
Uh, I'll put a link for it to, below so you guys can get it to that one. So 16 gig. You can do four. I got this for a deal. I think it was like 10 bucks. It wasn't really that much expensive. This is the older version of it. So, And this, I know, guarantee works with the Xbox. So get one that you know it works. Next one. What do we need next? Okay. What are we going to need? And I got this again from Amazon. A lot of stuff I get from Amazon. It's a lot easier. And I'm going to open it real quickly in front of you. This is kind of embarrassing. I apologize. This is an Xbox port, right? I'm looking at the screen to make sure you guys can see it. Xbox port to USB. And this is used for you to transfer files using the SanDisk over to the Xbox. So that's, that's the next thing you're going to need. After that, there's an exploit you're going to need. And it's kind of easy. I'm going to get you all the links to the software down below. And we're going to use my computer. And I'm going to show you how that works. But before you get to that exploit, you need a copy of an actual Xbox game. Which one do you need? I saw there's a lot of 007 Agent on the Fire. You can use that one. This one's the easiest and cheapest to get. Splinter Cell. I got this, again, on Amazon. I got my copy for like 4 bucks. And you can't use the platinum hits. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. They they patched that bug from the platinum hits. You have to get the one with the black label on top right here. Has to have that. If it doesn't have that, it's not gonna help you. Get this one. This is the one you need. So with all that being stated, let's head over to my Xbox. I'm gonna put my camera on. It's not gonna look as good as this one, but we're gonna put my camera on and I'm gonna show you step by step on what you need to do. So let's get over there. All right, guys, so we're back on my computer. The first thing I'm going to tell you guys, please forgive the clicks. i um, close to the mic, so it's going to click a little bit. My own account I have all for you is my apology. The first thing you're going to do after you put the USB stick right back into your computer, do not format it. It's going to pop up and say, do you want to format it? Because we don't recognize it. Forget it. Ignore it. We don't give a crap what it recognizes, right? The first thing you do is click on Drive. Open drive, hard drive, memory card. When you do that, guess what? It's going to show you partition zero. What do you do from here? You're going to say add new folder. Fine. Click on the new folder. Then you're going to hit say insert folder. And then the reason why you're going to do that is because we're going to go right here to this one right here. Xbox, crazy, Endor, soft mod pack. But we're going to do it here because you can't drag and drop folders in this program. It doesn't allow you to. SC, in case you guys forgotten, Splinter Cell. We're going to save file to new data, and the first one we're going to get is this one. Okay. And it's just going to set it in to the flash drive, which is exactly what we want. That's the first one. Once that's done, we're going to go back into it, say insert another folder. And we're going to go down to SC again, save file, new data, and I'm going to do the 300C and hit OK. And it's supposed to send that over as well. And it did. Now that you know that everything's installed, you're going to go ahead to here and you're going to see it's right here. You can even double click and watch. Oh. Either way, it's, it's in here. That's exactly what we want. So the folders are in here. Doesn't matter if you delete the other folder here. I don't really care about this stuff. So I mean, I can delete it. Doesn't really destroy anything. As you can see, once it's deleted, it actually adds these two files in. This is exactly what we want, right? We're pretty much done here. So we're gonna stick this back into the Xbox and copy these files over to the USB flash drive. So let's get over there and get that taken care of. All right, guys, I stuck the USB drive in to the uh, Xbox and you're going to notice it's on my controller 2 port so you're going to select that Whoa. okay now we've got the two Linux installer and Splinter Cell right so you're going to go over to the right because right now it just says Linux installer you're going to go over to the right and you're going to hit this and you're going to say copy because what do you want to copy to the actual hard drive of the device hit OK so now it's going to copy those files over to the hard drive, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to let that go. Go back. Splinter Cell is now next. 
and we're going to say copy to the hard drive. That was a little too fast, but whatever. I mean, we're going to double check it right now. So we're going to go back into our hard drive. You're going to see some games here. My father, had, like I said, had it before me. So you're going to see stuff here. He's got a lot of stuff here, my father. He was not joking. Anyway, that's the files we needed. Boom and boom, right? What's next, right? So the next thing you're going to do is going to get your splinter cell disc and actually play it. All right, guys, now that we've transferred our data over uh, from the USB stick, we're going to take it off the Xbox. Don't need it in there anymore. And we're going to pop in Splinter Cell. So once you put your, once you get ready, just pop in Splinter Cell. The game's going to start up as normal, which is perfectly fine. You want it to start up as normal. And once it gets in there, you're going to see. We're going to go ahead and go to that, that next part. Pretty much start, press whatever you need to press to get out of this crap, because you really don't need to see it. Who cares? We don't really we just need it just for necessity. Now we're gonna hit start game. My controller kind of stinks today. I'm gonna have to get a new one. It says, okay, what profile do you want to run? Linux. <laughs> what checkpoints do you want? Whatever. Just run Linux. It's like, okay, what is that? And it's gonna load. And guess what it does? Load you into a hidden file, right? By the way, um, while this is happening and going into this um, file that we have to the hard drive, your Xbox uh, is gonna go from green to red. Please don't worry about that. It's not that bad. The first thing you're going to want to do is back up your EEPROM. Why? Because that's your original Xbox dashboard. In case you want to go ahead and go back to it, you can do that. So, back up EEPROM. So, uh, it's going to say, with this option, you need to back up the EEPROM. You need to do this before you proceed with the rest of the installation. If you w don't want to continue to do the full installation, you can remove it and all that stuff. Yes, we're going to back it up. Yes, I understand. Go ahead and do it. So it's going to back it up. With that being said, it's going to go right here. So hit back up EEPROM. Backing up with a smiley face. <laughs> so we're good. Return to main menu. Takes two seconds to back up your EEPROM, guys. Just do it. It's easy. Once you're done, you're going to hit install. Oh, i got to get a new um, <laughs> Xbox 360 controller. Uh... Install Ender Soft Mod, which is exactly what we want to do. And we're gonna do the end part. We're gonna do the NK Patcher six seven or zero six. Excuse me. I think I believe it's zero six. Let me double check my notes to make sure. Sorry about this, guys. Yeah, it's zero six. So you're going to hit 06, and you're going to do the, uh, I believe you're going to do the Unleashed X dashboard. Yes, we are doing the Unleash. Because your hard drive is being scanned for the proper files. When you see an error, it means your dashboard version isn't high enough. Like I said to you at the beginning of our video, we want to make sure we're on dashboard 5960, and you can do that with Halo. So if you have Halo 2, it'll do it for you. Hit OK. And it says your dashboard version is high enough for the installer. The next test checks the presence of the EEPROM backup. When you see an error, it means you haven't taken the opportunity to back up your EEPROM. In that case, do it. So I'm like, go ahead. The EEPROM is present. You will not continue installation. The option installs the Unleash X dashboard with NK Patcher 06. With all this space above is about 8 gigs. Would you proceed? Yes. Now it's going to take a few moments to do this. And while this is installing, I'm going to let it do its thing. And when it's done installing, it's going to have us uh, it's going to have us restart the console. When we restart the console, we need to take out Splinter Cell because we don't want the console booting into Splinter Cell. We don't care about that right now. This is just going to install the the basic files that we need to install the actual soft mod. The whole actual soft mod, excuse me. 
while I go ahead and let this happen, I'm going to tell you about some stuff. Uh, I know that the, the Xbox, the original Xbox, has a actual um, mod chip. And it's cool. You, I mean, if you want to do that, you can install it, and it's guaranteed to install on your system, and it'll be modded, and all that good stuff. Mod chips are great, but if you don't, if right now, it's 2017, mod chips are extremely, extremely, let me lower this, because it's just, just confirming everything here. It's extremely hard to find. I mean, I've seen one or two websites, but I, I, I like to go to a place that it's trusted, and it's, when it's not trusted, I get kind of, like, scared, so... Just to put it out there, I don't like to buy from trusted sites. Once this soft mod is complete, we know exactly that this mod is finished. And we're going to go to the dashboard and we're going to show you all that stuff too. It's going to be pretty cool. So, because now you can turn off your Xbox, press OK, remove the game, and then it'll, then it'll go ahead and activate the Shadow C drive. The Shadow C drive, pretty much what it is, is your games to download into, your emulators, everything else. That's basically what Shadow C is. So, it says turn off your Xbox, but I'm gonna go ahead and do something better. I'm going to take out my disc first, because why not? I'm gonna turn off my Xbox, which I'm gonna do. Turn it back on again. Put my disc back, because I kind of don't want my disc to be scratched. This is still a good game. Now it's going to the Unleashed Desktop software. It's going to say press A to continue. Uh, the setup will now activate your hidden C drive. Based on much was what I just told you about a minute ago, what it's about, and it's going to install. This takes about, probably about a minute or two to install. It's installing all the backup stuff. You can even have some custom uh, desktop tools that you can change to, and I'll show you a couple of those. Um, so you guys can get like an example of what it looks like. Once this is done, your Xbox is considered soft modded. So you can actually start beginning to download games. And part two of my video will show you how to do that. And also part two will show you to install a hard drive. Uh, this is only part one to just to show you the soft mod. Your Xbox is now completely modded. It's recommended to locate the EEPROM file and copy it to your PC and keep it in a safe place. The EEPROM file can be found here. So to show you where the, soft, the software is. Sure, no problem. Thank you, Xbox. No fucks given. So it's saying, okay, you can launch DVDs, games, application, or tools. All right? So let me see something here. Because I got the, is the turbo active? No. So it says, what do you want to do? Let's see here. Let's take a look at the MS da uh, dashboard. Let's see what it says here. Ah! So it gives you back to the Microsoft dashboard. So it gives you back to that, in case you want to do it that way. So it's at least it gives you back to what it what it originally is, and it's whatever. Don't get don't get it wrong though. It's still it's still modded. So we're gonna go ahead and restart it again, so you guys can see it. And then we're gonna go into settings, and we're gonna load it right back into the dashboard again. Yes, it's always going to say Unleashed, so just to keep it out there. Games, Applications, Emulators, System, and we're going to go down to Skins. So they got a couple of them here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of them. You can go back to the default skin, which is the one we're seeing now. Let's take a look at Blue Shapes. What does Blue Shapes look like? Blue Shapes look like this. Eh, not, nothing too crazy. Green Shapes. Green Shapes looks a little bit more like the Xbox, and it looks pretty cool, so I may keep this one. No image. <laughs> so this is what no image looks like. Let's go back a little bit. No image is alright, but I, I really don't like something like that. It looks like the Matrix. Uh, no much blue, no much green. Orange shapes. So you can have orange, purple, or red. I'm going to stick with green shapes. Because it wasn't so bad. So now, this is considered modded, right? So we're actually modded. We don't have to worry about anything. 
games would be in here for your Xbox, uh, and then applications would be in here, which would be more later on. I'll show you more about that stuff. Emulators we haven't installed because we haven't installed anything on this hard drive. So, guys, prepare for part two to the video. I'm going to install a hard drive onto the uh, Xbox, show you how to transfer the stuff from your current Xbox, the one that's in here now, to the new one. And we're going to go from there. Install emulators and ROMs. So, stay tuned.